Hi friends, welcome back to All Learn and Law. And this is a Cupid Quick Pediatrics. And today I'm going to discuss schistosomiasis, protozoal infection. Okay, schistosomiasis, right? So before starting, please subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. So what's the etiology? Remember, is it caused by trematodes? Caused by trematodes. Okay, that's a fluke. Flu. Okay. The important point I'm discussing here for USMLE and for MRCPCH examination. Then we have schistosoma hematobium. Metobium that infects what you call bladder, remember. Excellent. Then we have cystosoma interclatum, 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 okay, interclatum. All right, and cystosoma. Mekongi. I don't know their funny names. Mekongi. They affect, remember, since they have M, okay? Mesentric vessels. Mesentric vessels, okay? Arteries in the veins. Mesentric, remember. Then we have the other type that is a cystosoma. Mansoni. Mansoni and cystosoma. Japonicum. Japonicum. So it affects liver, guys. Liver. Okay. Right? Excellent. It's a cause by trematodes. Cystosoma hematobium affects the bladder. Cystosoma, what do you call intercalatum, interclatum, and cystosoma mekongi affects the mesenteric vessels. Cystosoma mansoni and japonicum affects the liver. Okay. Now let's talk about the pathophysiology. Okay, I'm talking here very briefly. Okay, it's a transmission due to the infected, infected water containing immature forms which penetrate through the skin. Okay, remember, right now, sign and symptoms, the clinical features, sign and symptoms within three to four weeks, in a period of three to four, sorry, three to twelve weeks. Okay. The patient can experience fever, okay, cough, he can have abdominal pain, okay, abdominal belly pain, rash, rash, okay, right, rash can be there and there can be what you call the malaise. So just look at here, it presents as if it's what you call a viral fever, right, so except what you call um, ra uh, abdominal pain. But you can see abdominal pain in the viral field also. Okay. If it's a bladder, then the can, patient can have what you call hematuria, passing of blood in urine, hematuria. Okay. And it can lead to cancer of bladder. It can lead to cancer of a bladder. And it can lead to renal failure renal failure because of uh, granulomatous granulomas formed in the blood okay that can lead to what you call a failure of a kidney okay and if it's in, if it affects the intestine okay it can cause ulceration of the intestine ulcerations ulcerations of the intestine colon okay that's why the patient will experience abdominal pain okay and the patient can have even a bloody diarrhea okay so, which is a causative organism for that? Because they affect the mesenteric vessels. That is, interclatum and cystosoma mycongi. Okay, if it affects what you call liver, that is, it can lead to hepatosplenomegaly, portal hypertension, ascites. Okay, hematemesis. Hematemesis is a coughing of the blood. Sorry, vomiting of the blood. Right, vomiting of the blood. So that uh, that is caused by cystosoma mansoni and japonicum. That because they live in the liver. Right. Good. How would you diagnose that? 
Diagnosis is by, is by looking for X in the stool or urine. Look for X in stool and urine. Okay? And what's the treatment? And how would you treat that? Is a praziquintal. Okay? Praziquintal. Remember, praziquintal. Praziquintal. Okay? So schistosomiasis. Schistosomiasis is caused by trematodes. Okay? They're different types. The blood one, the liver one, the mesenteric vessel one. Okay, so this is a brief video on a cystosomiasis for a USMLE appearing students and for MRCPCH appearing students. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.